Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to have a look at Kw, which is um, the uh, equilibrium constant for water, and sometimes called the ionic product of water as well. So we tend not to think about water as dissociated as an acid, uh, but really you can think about water, which will be a liquid, and there's always an equilibrium between water as it stands there and it's dissociated form H plus which is actually surrounded by water so there's a lot of water and then so one of them turn and dissociates to give H plus and OH minus like this okay now this can seem um, a bit silly really to think that water can dissociate but it does dissociate and it can actually become really useful for interpreting the uh, pH of bases for example because remember pH is the concentration of the um, uh, proton so, uh, source here and that's how we measure pH but if we don't have any proton sources then how do we know the pH of a, a base for example and we'll do that later on um, in another tutorial in this tutorial I really just want to have a look at um, uh, KW so if we look at this equilibrium and it is an equilibrium it's really really pushed over to this side actually I'll draw that in a different colour pen so draw it in, in red just to highlight it's really over here and, and, and very little over here but it does dissociate now at 25 degrees at 25 degrees Celsius this has got a non dissociation uh, equilibrium constant which I'll put up in a minute and that's called KW at 25 degrees and it's got a value of 1 times 10 to the minus 14 mole squared decimeter to the minus 6 now that seems like a quite a strange number but let's have a look at the equilibrium constant well if we we're going to write an equilibrium constant for water it would be uh, K equals concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus divided by the concentration of H2O okay that's a that's an equilibrium um, constant equation just to have a look at the equilibrium constant but if you remember from um, the uh, calculation of um, the weak acid uh, equilibrium constant or dissociation constant uh, Ka, then you'll remember that Ka is very similar to this. I'll just drag it up underneath. So Ka, and I'll just draw this, I'll just colour this in blue, then we can differentiate it. So Ka is the concentration of acid times the base divided by the acid source, if you will. And in this case, it's water. So we've got a special case for water now, basically. It's a bit like Ka. And what we have to do, we have to rearrange the equation slightly. So what we do, we rearrange the equation to this. Basically all I've done is multiplied both sides by HA. And we've got HA up here. And this one will cancel out. So if, if you want me to just go through that, I'll just move that out of the way and I'll show show you how that works just give myself a brush so basically if I change the colour if we multiply both sides of this equation here by HA let's just do that so multiply HA on this side and then I multiply it by HA on this side then what happens is we can actually cancel this one out because that will be divided by that which becomes 1 and this one will stay on this side so Ka times HA equals H plus times the counter ion ok so let's just get rid of that for now and that I'll get rid of that ok so let's just rearrange the equation well this here this value Ka times HA has got a special name and that's called KW. 
okay so that is the ionic product of water this this value here and basically it just gives us a, an idea of the concentration of the acid and the concentration of the base and it's called kw so i'll just drag that up here so what we do we replace this so if i was to write that down let's just scroll down a little bit then we've got a bit more room so if i was going to write that down then that would be uh, a green so ka times ha is the same as writing kw okay and then if you substitute that into this equation basically i put kw in there you get this equation here and i'll draw that in green too okay so kw is basically the concentration of the uh, um, protons and the concentration of the um, base and that's going to come in really really handy when we have a look at the ionic um, strengths of other solutions which don't have proton sources um, so that's that's pretty much it for this tutorial I urge you to have a look at the um, the ways we're going to calculate pH uh, for strong alkalis and we'll use KW to have a look at that so bye for now